Hi there, and welcome to today's Quentin Carpenter Nature of Plants video. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of these fragmented portraits using rectangles in Photoshop on the right and in Photop on the left. We'll do a comparison, and we're going to be using the layer mask tool today to do it slightly differently to just copying and pasting like you've seen in some of the other videos. Um, in order to do this, we will need several photographs of the same person from different times, different angles, different faces. Um, we will see here we have got, if I go to my layers menu, three different portraits and each one at a slightly different angle and I've placed them all on top of each other so that we can then start to do our fragmenting portrait. Now we're going to need several copies of each one of these to do our layer masks and so to do that we're going to go up to layer and we're going to duplicate layer and click OK and we'll do that so that we have lots of each different face or well, i think we need four of each for this so we'll go layer duplicate layer layer duplicate layer layer duplicate layer okay and you'll see that we can do with this layer as well so remember whichever layer we're clicking on is the light gray layer so we go layer duplicate layer layer duplicate Layer, layer, duplicate, layer, and we should now have four of each, which is perfect. So we're going to go to the top layer here, and we're going to use the rectangular marquee tool. And in order to do this, we're going to draw a section of the face, like so. It's going to look a bit different to the one I did earlier, because I'm going to show you how to do it. Once we've got this rectangular selection, we could go edit, copy, edit, paste, which I've shown you many times in the past, but today we're going to be using the layer mask, which is located down here on the layers menu. And it will say add layer mask. If you click on that, nothing will happen on the screen here because you've got all the um, other layers open. But if I close all the eyes and all the other layers, you will see we have just masked out that one particular piece. So then if I go to the layer below, open up this, and I can choose to take a piece out of this face. So we'll go here, take a piece of this face from here, click over onto the layer so it goes light gray, and then click the layer mask. And you can see we've now got a piece of that face. We then go to do it one step at a time. So we go to this face here, and we'll select a section of this one. And we will go down to that. Add a layer mask tool again, and we've done that. So now you can see we've got three different pieces of faces starting to fit together. I'll go back to the top one, and I will select a piece of this face, like so. Add the layer mask, and you can see we have that there. Now, if we wanted this layer below this one, we'd drag it down, and you can see that that layer would then jump above it. So once we've organized where we want these to go, we can then start to make our design. So if we go to this one and I'll take some of the hair from up here. Click on the layer mask button. And then we want to go to this layer. Take some of the hair from here. Click on the layer mask button. Maybe move that below the other layer. So we don't end up with everything being all the same. And we we'll take some more of this layer. And we'll take a piece of this area here. Add the layer mask, drag that up. And you can see this sort of fragmented style. It's been used by a few artists over the time. David Hockney being one of them. So we'll put the layer mask in there. Take some more of these portraits. And uh, take some angles from here. And we'll add the layer mask here. Make sure on the right layer, obviously. Add the layer mask in there. Go on to this one. Take a section there. Make sure we add the layer mask. And you can see we're starting to build up this fragmented portrait. Layer mask, drag this section 
order that. And one of the great things about fragmented portraits, obviously you can then move things all around as you wish and create your design. Let me need one more from here. I don't know if I have that away. There you go, that is our design created using the layer mask. Now what we can do here is we can go to image and we go to image mode and we can turn the whole thing into black and white by clicking on grayscale. Click don't merge, don't rasterize, and discard. Okay. Wait for it to process and we now have a black and white one. So that's how you do it in Photoshop. And if you go back to the original one here, you can see a slight different design. If I go over to Photo P, I can do exactly the same thing using the same setup. So if I look at my layers, come over here and I go to my images I will need to duplicate the layers again so I'll go to layer and duplicate layer and you can see everything is repeated the same exact process I won't do quite as many on this one but I'll go over here layer duplicate layer layer duplicate layer here, layer, duplicate layer, layer, duplicate layer, and layer, duplicate layer. And again, we will I'll make this slightly bigger so you can see what we're doing a little bit more. We use the rectangle tool, select an area. Over here, it's the same tool, it's down here on the toolbar, and it's called add raster mask which is a slight different name but it does the same thing so if we close all the eyes on all the other layers you will see that we have got the area so if we start at the bottom draw our section so there's a section there we add our raster mask draw another section here add our raster mask draw another section down here Add our rascal mask and draw a section over here and add our raster mask. Then we'll go up on this layer, draw a section here, add the raster mask, and you can see we're starting to build up the image bit by bit. Click on this layer, draw another section. Add our raster mask, go on to this layer, section from here, and our raster mask. You can see we're building up the image bit by bit on this layer. Add the raster mask, and lastly we'll do a section here and add our raster mask. Now, you can see Again, I need to maybe move some of these layers around. I want that one there, maybe move that one up to there. Start to add that fragmented feel to it. So that it all starts to blend together nicely. And then you can see to make it black and white in Photo P, again, we go to Image. no image made. So what we'd need to do here is we need to select all the layers by clicking on the top one, pressing shift, clicking on the bottom one, right clicking, clicking merge layers, it all becomes one layer and then we'll go to image adjustments and look for the black and white and click OK and then we'll have a black and white image here. Obviously both of these images could be improved by image adjustments and applying some contrast. We could give it more contrast. Make it slightly darker and click OK. 
and you can see there we have enhanced the image. So if we go back to the original one that I showed you earlier, and the new one, you can see each time we do this, there's going to be different, slightly different fragmented designs. We'll go over and compare it to the Photoshop one. You can see there's very little in it with the different images. If I go to Photoshop, I can go to, to my layers. I can flatten the image. And then I could go to image adjustments in my brightness and contrast and do a similar thing in here. A bit more contrast and possibly a slightly darker. And click OK. And you can see, there you have. We have some really interesting designs. We've got that fragmented portrait look. And um, experiment and see how you get on with your ones. Let me know in the comments below if you um, enjoy making fragmented portraits. And then be sure to subscribe to Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Um, if you also like to leave a comment below if there's anything you'd like me to teach you how to do, and I'll try and make a video for you in the future. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Have a really good day. Goodbye.